welcome back guys welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i will do something completely different guys i have never done this kind of tutorial in my channel before today i will show you guys how to create nfts using wearables so you don't have to be a programmer to create nfts and those who are already know nfts and blockchain and digital currencies you guys can ignore the first part of this tutorial and go straight to the second part uh, by the way guys in this tutorial i'm not going to talk about digital currencies or blockchain technology i'm just going to show you guys how to create your own nft token how to convert your art into a nft token and how to create a new ethereum wallet using metamask and how to use the ethereum wallet to buy or sell artworks in uh, wearables if you guys want to learn more about cryptocurrencies and blockchain you guys can go and research on it if you don't know about it and i believe you should learn about it and this is going to be the future this is going to change our world the way we live same as internet changed the world in 90s don't just take my word for it go and do your own research and come to a conclusion okay so i'm going to divide this tutorial into three parts in this first part i will give you a small introduction about nfts i won't dive in deeper and explain how this nft technology work but more importantly i will give you guys an idea as digital artists how can we leverage with this technology to benefit for ourselves there are so many opportunities in here so let's get started okay what is nfts nft stand for non-fungible token non-fungible in the sense is going to be unique inside the distributed ledger distributed ledger is what the blockchain is all about to completely understand nfts you guys need to understand the blockchain technology first for this tutorial i will put things into very simple terms nfts are basically digital assets but these assets cannot be interchangeable or replaceable like for an example if you use a bitcoin it's also a digital asset but these assets can be interchangeable or replaceable same goes for the us dollar or any fiat currency as well you can replace the original currency the original value of the currency with another one for an example let's say we have three person in here okay person a b and c the person A have ten dollar note and person B have another ten dollar note and the person C have two five dollar notes. Okay, in this scenario, the person A's ten dollar note can be interchangeable with person B's ten dollar notes. At the same time, these two notes can be interchangeable with the third person with two five dollar notes as well. All right, so this is what the fungible means. You can change the value with another equal one. But uh, let's say in the same scenario, all these three person has limited edition basketball cards. These three cards won't have the same value as each other. They all have their own individual characteristic and individual values. Even if they have the same player's same card, they won't be equal to each other because there will be other individual factors you need to consider such as year of production or how the cards have been preserved all those things the best example for a non-fungible is a painting done by a traditional artist there will be only one of it nothing can be replaced the original painting Okay, so we understood what is non-fungible mean, but where are these properties are saved? How we will know there is only certain number of copies available or detail of the art, which art belongs to who? All these things are saved in the digital asset token inside the blockchain. So once you have created this digital asset, nobody can change it. So its authentication can be verified through the blockchain and also its intellectual property which can be verified publicly and this verification will be confirmed by blockchain technology 
So you may ask, what is the purpose of it and what is a benefit for a digital artist with this technology? So that's where intellectual property parts comes in. So let's say now what's happening when we create an artwork and sell it online, people buy it and recreate it, sell it to other people and they are selling multiple copies. The original artist who created the artwork only sell the artwork one time, but the person who bought the artwork they modify and sell it to thousands of people, make money. So this is unfair. I mean, the artist who created originally should get at least a percentage of it because it's its own artwork. Same for the music also. So what we are doing in here is converting our artworks into digital tokens. And these digital tokens, we can limit how many we are going to create. We can create one token or we can create 10 copies of the same artwork. But once we create that token, it's going to be only whatever the quantity we have selected. For an example, an artist create an artwork and he want to have only 10 copies of this artwork. First thing what he need to do is he should convert this to a digital token. And inside the digital token application, he need to say how many copies are going to be. In this case, let's say he choose 10. After the artist choose 10 copies, there will be 10 copies created with the same artwork. So there will be 10 tokens of the same artwork. Then the artist can bring in these tokens to any marketplace such as Rarible and he can define a price or he can choose the buyer to bid on a price. Based on your artwork, if people willing to pay money and buy, let's say you have 10 artworks, if you sell one digital artworks, that one unique token will be given to the buyer. Then you only left with nine artworks. So once the buyer buy it, he cannot make copies with that artwork. He can only sell or you can just keep it and sell it later for higher price is up to the buyer. In this way, the original artist as the control over his digital assets. And there is more. Let's say this artist has sold all of its artworks, all 10 copies, okay? The, the buyer, everybody bought $100. Let's say they bought for $100 each. And now this art became very famous and rare. When it's rare, the price should go up. When things are rare, people are willing to pay more money. That's basically supply and demand. So let's say this buyer, the first buyer, choose to sell this artwork to another buyer for $1,000. If artists want a commission from his artwork because it's his intellectual property, he can choose to add in a percentage as a royalty free in the token itself. So every time a buyer sell it to anyone higher price or lower price the original artist still get a commission from each and every sale in the real world this is how intellectual property royal fee works but in the digital world it was used to be difficult to implement because nobody can trace after you sold a digital product. But now, thanks to the blockchain technology, we can easily implement using the distributed ledgers. Best of all, once you create the token, you don't need to worry about anything because this runs on smart contracts. So every time a buyer from your original artwork sell this artwork to another buyer, you will always get the commission into your wallet without any input from you all right guys so that is a small introduction about nfts please do more research on this subject in nfts blockchains and cryptocurrencies i believe that will be the future and there are so many resources available in youtube itself all right guys that's all about it for this first part of the video in the second part i will show you guys how to create a ethereum wallet using metamask and how to connect your wallet to the wearable application thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next part and if you guys like this kind of tutorial in my channel and want to see more please uh, leave a thumbs up and give a comment so i will consider to do more tutorials similar to this in the future